Welcome everyone to Virik and Jeb have fun with rockets and today we're having fun with aircraft in the space plane hangar and specifically fun with the four gizmos you find in your toolbox up here in the top left. Now the first and most obvious of those is the place gizmo and that allows you to pick a part from the catalog there on your left and to place it on your craft. Now that looks pretty reasonable if I don't say so myself but one of the first and most important tasks with any plane is to balance your center of mass and your center of lift which are represented by the yellow and the blue globes on the craft here. Now they're rather a long way apart and that's where the offset tool is going to come in really handy. If we select the offset tool and then select a part such as the wings we are now able to drag these wings forward or backwards in order to change the relative position of the wings on the body and of course the relative positions of lift and of the center of mass. Now you'll notice we were going in rather stepped chunks there. Now if you prefer rather more fine control you can switch off angle snap and by switching off angle snap we now have fine control over the position of our wings so let's say we're going to bring the wings to about there now of course we've got a rather ugly gap in here now so we'll grab hold of the red marker and just slide the wings in until we have something a little more attractive so that's the place and the offset tool next let's have a look at the rotation tool and to do that we're going to look at landing gear now landing gear will pick the uh, small landing gear let's get a nose gear on here uh, we'll put that one on first get angle snap prepared there we go put that one on there now the next pair of wheels are going to go slightly up the body of the fuselage now why is that important well that's where the rotation gizmo is going to come in handy because if I place those wheels right there you'll notice they're at an angle. Now I could use the keyboard shortcuts to rotate them but let's select the rotate gizmo and then select our wheels and you'll notice we now have three colored rings representing the three directions that we could rotate our wheels. So if we grab the blue ring we can snap round so that the wheels are now perpendicular to the ground and we now have an excellent base on which to land and indeed take off our craft. But we're not finished yet, not with an aircraft anyway, because we can go back to the offset tool and use this to move the wheels a little bit closer to that center of mass to make it easier for the plane to pivot and to take off. But there is a fourth tool in our toolbox and that's the root part. Now root parts are the part that you put onto your craft first which using the place tool if you grab that first part usually a capsule that's the one you move your craft around with. Now what if I wanted to uh, replace that Mark 1 cockpit? Um, I can't tear it off but that's where the root tool comes into play. Click on the root tool and then click some part of your current vehicle to select the vehicle you want to change the route tool of. So let's pick that craft and for the time being I'm going to pick the engine here right at the end. And now it's the J33 Weasley basic jet engine which is my route part, not my command pod which I can now throw away and get a different command pod. Let's imagine I wanted this Mark 1 inline command pod. Uh, we could take that, uh, we could place on an inline stabilizer and then put on one of these natty little nose cones. Of course we've got to put the landing gear back on uh, so let's go and pick that back out of the catalogue, uh, put that landing gear back on there and now we have an even more natty looking aircraft for us to be using to zip around Kerbin Skies. So that's the four gizmos that you can use both in the space plane hangar and in the VAB to make your construction life a heck of a lot easier. But with that said, I'd like to thank you for watching 
and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.